All right. As you can probably tell, um, I've decided to play Fable Anniversary. Um, I know I've played it on this channel before, but uh, uh, let me see if I can delete. There we go. Uh, new game. Um, I'm glad to know that they saved that for you. Um, this is the true test for real heroes. Not only are they no longer in the game, but the enemies are far tougher in health. Here's hero. Uh, like I say, um, I just play these games for fun, I don't need a huge challenge, you know? But, um, yeah. Gonna attempt to do some of the achievements that I couldn't get to before. Um, and plus I just like this game, you know? But yeah, here we go. Deep in the forest of Albion, lay the small town of Oakvale. Unchanged by time, and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, of one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard. And other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. Come on, wake up. Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother, mind always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? She's out playing by the Barrow Fields gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you've forgotten to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing you out this time, son. Hmm. I tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale. That should be enough to buy her a present. Now, get moving and stay out of trouble. I've lost Rosie. I left her and I can't remember where. Her stuffing needs changing today and I can't find her. Please help. She's a lovely little furry bear with a blue patch on her back. What? Uh, I, I was just, um, I, I've never even met this woman. Who is she? Look, Sonny, keep your mouth shut about this, right? My wife's at home with our little ones and I'm supposed to be working. But a man should be entitled to do what he likes, don't you think? Tell you what, if you keep this little secret, I'll give you a gold piece. You just don't tell my wife. I can't let her find out about this. Where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? <laughs> With some woman, I don't doubt. I run his house, bring up his children, and what do I get in return? Nothing. If you find him, let me know, won't you? You have? Right. I'm gonna turn him into balverine food. Thank you, young sir, for telling me. Darling. What? You filthy swine! I ought to chop them right off! Don't insult me anymore! 
My mother was right about you. You know I only have eyes for you, my sweet. Well, if you think I'm going to cook and clean for you while you're out having a good time with your strumpet, you've got another thing coming. We weren't doing anything, honest. Who is she anyway? Some tart from the village? <sighs> Younger than me, is she? You know I only have eyes for you, my sweet. You filthy swine! I ought to chop them right off. Don't insult me anymore! My mother was right about you. <laughs> Things. Hello, lad. I'm a trader. I wander the world buying and selling wares, especially to find folk like your good self. Some little girl I saw said you have a sister, and it's her birthday. And it seems you haven't got her a present yet. It just so happens that I have a rather nice box of sweets here. Guaranteed to put a smile on any sister's face for only three gold pieces. I'm afraid you seem to be short of funds, Sonny. Just three gold coins is all I ask, and your sister will love them. Remember, your father will give you money if he hears good reports about you. Listen, lad, could you do me a favour? I've got to, you know, answer a call of nature. Oh, stay here and watch this stock for me. There's a good lad. Just stand between those two stacks and don't move. I'll put a good word in for you when I get back. Right, won't be long. My cousin says that the barrels in these warehouses might have stuff in them. Quick! While he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's inside. Unless you're too scared. Unless you're just a big blubbing girl. Come on, let's go and break stuff. Are you just going to stand there like a lemon? But being good is so boring. Wouldn't you prefer to be smashing things? Come on, there's still time before he gets back. Oh, you're no fun at all. Fine. Have your stupid good deed, then. Excellent. Thanks, lad. You've done me a big favour. I'll let your dad know what a splendid watchman you made. Could have smashed those barrels while he was away. You stupid little idiot. Get him off me! Please help! He goes around the town beating up anyone smaller than him. But you look strong. I bet you could scare him off for good. Ah! <laughs> what are you doing? <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'll leave him alone. Just please don't hit me again. Thank you. You stopped him good. Thank you. Here, I'll let you look after Rosie. She'll be safe with you. Stuffing. Well done, lad. 
Here's your reward for those good deeds. Well, I think you may have enough there, son. Have you spoken to the trader? You're a good fellow. Ooh, you're lucky I've still got these sweets. Quickly, give me three gold pieces now, and they're yours. Young sir, they are yours. Wish your sister a happy birthday from me now, won't you? Brother, I hope you haven't forgotten what day it is, like you did last year. I'm sorry if I woke you up last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened, but I can't remember what. Never mind that, though. I'm still waiting for my present. I knew you were going to bring me chocolates. It's just like my dream. Come on, let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. Wait, there's something wrong. Bandits! It's really happening. They're here. You've got to hide. Evil had come to Oakvale. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. Blood-red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy, and soon their bodies filled the streets. Then the raiders reached the last house, where the boy and his family lived. It was them they had slaughtered so many to find. The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior, and fell mortally wounded. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both. From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone.
We must leave. It's not safe here. They're all dead. You don't want to join them, do you? Then give me your hand. you'd have a stronger stomach than that. Come on. <sighs> Save your energy, boy. It's not me you want to fight. You might not realize it, but I just saved your life. There's nothing left for you in Oakvale. And if you'd stayed, you'd be as dead as the rest of them. Come with me. My name is Maze and I'm the head of the Guild of Heroes. You must have heard of it. You'll find nowhere safer in all of Albion, nor a better place to call your home. And if it's vengeance you want, you'll need the training only we can offer. Here we are. I'll introduce you to the Guildmaster. He'll be your guide from now on. I have a new student for you. Put him in the dorm upstairs, with the girl. You don't look much like hero material to me, but Maze knows what he's doing, I suppose. Well, follow me then. You'll be sharing this room with Whisper, one of our brightest young pupils. She's playing in the woods right now but you'll meet her in the morning. For now, you should get some sleep. Your training starts tomorrow. <laughs> it's time to wake up. You must be my roommate. Hmm. Shorter than I expected. My name's Whisper. I've been here for a month. Had the room to myself till now, too. But that's all right. You know you talk in your sleep. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Happens to a lot the first week. Some don't even last that long. You won't either if you don't get moving. The Guildmaster is waiting for us in the map room. You don't want to be late on your first day. Follow me. Hmm. Looks like the Guildmaster got tired of waiting for you. He's probably at the training grounds across the river. Let's go! apple pie for the guildmaster at the end of the week. But I can't find any more red apples. I only need another four. If you find enough, can you bring them back here? I'll reward you. The servants live in here.
This is where heroes focus their willpowers. yourself from your pillow I see over here like I'm on there all right lad it's time to see if you've any potential get in the ring now then I want you to hit that dummy as hard as you can just keep going till I tell you to stop You're not making much of an impact there are you here, try with this. Give it a good hammering with your stick. That's more like it. When you destroy an enemy like this dummy, it drops an experience orb. These orbs contain the knowledge gained from killing the creature. It's very important that you collect these orbs, or you won't learn anything. Now pick it up. Well done, lad. Now then, tomorrow we'll... That's the guild alarm. Sounds like there might be something loose in the woods. This is a good opportunity to test your spirit. I'll wait for you at the Guildwood's entrance, while you deal with the problem. Once you're done, we can talk about starting your training. So much. The Guildmaster will get his part here. Have this. We're discussing whether I'm the fastest apprentice in this guild. I ran to the demon door and back in 50 seconds. Right then. I did it in 50 seconds. No one has been that. If it wasn't for my... That's amazing! How did you do it? I lost my bet. That showed you, didn't it? <laughs> the journey's length is of no consequence. The Oracle must be protected. How can you be so sure? We might need you here. Who knows what battles we might face? The signs are too strong to ignore, and the Northern Wastes have been too long isolated from the Guild. There is much I may learn there. Well, I hope nobody thinks you're running away from a fight, trying to cheat death again. 
You know how people talk. Talk is of no matter to me. May death close his eyes to you, Maze. What are you waiting for? Come in. That was Scythe. He was a great hero once, back when he had flesh on his bones and blood in his veins. He's just a shell now. What does he know of the choices we have to make, of what it takes to get things done? Good work, lad. Those beetles can be a damn nuisance. Here, I think you've earned yourself some pocket money for that. If you want more gold, I'm sure the servants could use your help with something. Or you can get an early night. The guild was now the boy's life. The memory of the Oakvale flames still scorched his mind, but soon he had no thought other than training and he became stronger and more agile with every passing year. His days were filled with grueling exercises, the nights with study in the library. Finally, he was ready to become a guild apprentice, just as Mays had foreseen. The real training was about to begin. Get out of bed, lazy bones. We were supposed to meet the Guildmaster on the other side of the river. But that was an hour ago. We better get going. Race you there. You can put that old stick away. We'll begin training with real weapons now. Get used to the weight of this sword, and let's see if you can hit Whisper with it. Come on then. Let's see what you've got, farm boy. Lucky shot. Now pay attention. What I'm about to teach you 
could well save your life one day. The life of a hero is a dangerous one, and you must learn to block your enemy's attacks if you expect to live long. Whisper will try to hit you, but you can block her attacks with your sword. Not all blows can be blocked, but you should be able to handle anything Whisper can throw at you. Don't let her attacks go, boy. You can't stop me every time. you next time. Well done. Now let's see if you can combine attack and defense. Ah, hello, Thunder. Come to check on your sister's progress, have you? You could say that. Whisper told me you've got her training with some farm boy. Maze thinks the boy has great potential. Enough to keep up with my Whisper. Ha! <laughs> Well, why don't we see? Whisper and the boy are just working on their melee skills now. All right, children. Let's see who has learnt the most in their training. This will be a no-holds-barred duel, just like your final melee test. Prepare yourselves. Oh, Gilfaster! <coughs> training any faster? Uh, hey. How did that get through? <coughs> All wrong, Whisper. You need to practice more. Shame you couldn't see me fight in the arena. You might have learned a thing or two. Keep training if you want to go there yourself one day. I could have beaten him if you hadn't stopped us. We have few enough heroes as it is, without the two of you tearing each other apart in training. Speaking of which, meet me as I make my way to the archery range, when you're ready to continue your lessons. Oh, and about your melee performance. Excellent. Fight like that in your melee exam and you'll do well. Then meet me by the archery range to continue your training. Are you ready? Let's continue our training with the bow. To begin with, see if you can hit the three stationary targets. And put some effort into it. The longer you pull back your bowstring, the more damage you will cause. But make sure you stay within the circle. You hit all the targets. Unfortunately, most foes don't stand still. So let's see how you fare against moving targets. You have a minute to score as many points as you can. The front target is worth one point, the middle one is worth three, and the one at the back will score you nine points. And remember, the longer you pull back your bowstring, the more damage the shot will cause. More damage means more points, but you have to balance power firing rate and accuracy. Let's see what you can do. Come on, lad. Get your bow out. Good shooting. of power. Lovely. Marvellous.
Oh dear. Try pulling the string back further for more power. Nice aiming. Next, we will learn about the ways of the will. Speak to me when you're ready to continue with your training. I'll be heading to the island by the waterfalls. Hey? I need someone to kill the sparrows nesting around the guild. The disgusting vermin. Those damn sparrows are making a right mess of the guild. Just look at them. I'll pay you five gold for every one you kill. Just come and see me every time you kill another one. Killed any of the blighters yet? Killed any of the blighters yet? Archery grading! Any apprentices for archery grading? Archery grading! Any apprentices for archery grading? Any apprentices want to practice archery grading? Combat? Any apprentices for archery grading? Princes want to practice melee combat. There's just the will left to learn. It's been a long day, so come on, let's finish this.
isn't any of the good. More of the dead. There are still more out there. Can't you find any more? They're all over the roofs. Archery grading! Any apprentices, Any apprentices for archery want to grading? practice melee combat? Any apprentices want to practice melee combat? There's just the will left to learn. It's been a long day. It's time to learn about will powers. We'll begin by striking these strong dummies with lightning. All right, let's see what you've got. Good. That's it. See how many you can hit in half a minute. Only attack dummies that are facing the center of the island. You won't get any points for hitting one on the back. You will only waste valuable mana. Using your willpowers depletes your mana, and once used, it takes time to replenish. Excellent use of magic. Well done. Very good, lad. You have learnt the three hero disciplines. We can now move on to your final test if you're ready. Or you can spend some more time exploring the guild. I believe Whisper is about to go into the guild woods, if you wish to join her. Very well. I'll be in the map room when you're ready to continue. Princes want to practice melee combat? Come on, let's hunt beetles. I'll follow you into the woods.
The beetle nest is just at the top of the... Wait. Did you hear that? It's coming from over there. Bandits. If only we could get across that stream. I know. Why don't you use your bow? Or some of that lightning the guildmaster taught you? I'll heal you if you get hurt. We did it! Did you see the look on their faces? Wait till the Guildmaster hears about this. Archery grading! Any apprentices for archery grading?
the truth. You aren't that quick. Good, more of the death. There is still more out there. Have you killed any more of them? Ah, you got another. I think that's the last one. Here's a little bonus. The boy mastered the skills quickly, but there was always more to learn. For years, the guild was his home, his school, and his life. But as time passed, his thoughts returned always to the world outside. The life he had lost, the family that had been torn from him. At last, only the final day of tests remained. Success would mark the end of his training. He would receive the Guild Seal and be free to forge his own destiny. He would become a hero. Before you graduate, there is one final test you must complete. Enter the guild woods and go to the log at the top of the hill. The test will be revealed to you there. Good luck. I suppose you're wondering how you pass the final test, then. It's simple. You must defeat me, using all you've learned in your years of training. We'll begin with your sword. Hit me, if you can. Come on! Put some anger into it! Very good. Now, shoot me with your bow. Uh, don't get too close. You're getting better at this. Put some anger into it. Excellent! And finally, cast lightning at me! That's enough. Yes, quite impressive for a novice. You will find real battles rather more fatal than this. But you have passed your final test. And you're ready to receive your guild seal from the Guildmaster.
Well, this is the day, lad. I remember the first night you came to us, and look at you now. Maze's faith in you was well placed. Now come along. The graduation ceremony will take place in the Chamber of Fate, the oldest part of the guild. Let the apprentices approach. For many years now, you have worked hard to earn yourselves the title of hero. Today, that apprenticeship ends and you go out into the world to do great deeds. Deeds that will bring you the gratitude of thousands. Or strike fear into their hearts. These are dark times. The shadows of Albion are stirring and strange winds are blowing. Your choices whether they lead you down the path of good or evil, will change the face of the world. Now, take your guild seals and venture forth as heroes. It's time for you to leave us then. But you're still very much part of the guild. On the map table, you will find details of any quests the people of Albion wish heroes to perform. And you'll need to return often to focus all your experience into new skills. Only by doing this regularly will you advance as a hero. Step into the light and I'll show you how to do this. There is little else for me to teach you, but I will always be around to offer you guidance. And your guild seal will allow me to communicate with you at all times. You will also notice it flashing when you have enough experience to spend. I have given you a basic pack of supplies. It'll be enough for a while. Now there's a whole world for you to explore. Check the guild for more quests. Hoping I, I, I saved right there. I'm guessing it did, but um, yeah, it looks like it did. Uh, but yeah, my next game after this, I already know I'm gonna attempt to play Elder Scrolls IV: Oblivion. When I say attempt, it's just me. I mean, like, it doesn't have controller accessibility on it. But I've only ever played it with controller. Okay, I played it religiously back in the day when it first came out. On the Xbox uh, edition, I think it's a 360. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I'm gonna try and keyboard with that, but otherwise, peace out.